According to Wikipedia, Satanism is a group of ideological and philosophical beliefs based on Satan. And that's all these Maduro-loving, like, far leftists that keep trying to, like, meme and shill all over the internet. Like, a couple of them were on my my video about Maduro and the, and the possible coup there. And it, it would be a coup, but, you know, one I could support. And it, it would be a coup, but, you know, one I could support. One I could support. Oh my god, the great Satan's here. The uh, Google. Hey, Google. Who is Satan? According to Wikipedia, a devil is the personification of evil as it is conceived in many and various cultures and religious traditions. Mm. Hey, Satan. Uh, hey, Google. Is that the same as Satanism? What is Satanism? My apologies. I don't understand. Hey, Google. What is Satanism? According to Wikipedia, Satanism is a group of ideological and philosophical beliefs based on Satan. Mm, gotcha. So, so this guy, right, uh, this is uh, the story of Sticks Hexenhammer 666, Tarl Warwick. What's his name? Tarl Warwick? Sticks Hexenhammer 666. Tarl Warwick. I doubt that's his, that's his real name. But anyway. Uh, is out there telling telling the public that Maduro, the president of Venezuela, is likely attacking him or having his goons attack him personally. Some of these people, I would not be surprised. I'm, I kid you not, because governments do this all the time. Like, you know, everyone admits Russia does this all the time, which is actually true. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if some of them are actually paid to do that, like Maduro pays them. Maybe it's Maduro himself. It's funny because the things that they post are like so incoherent, stupid, and it's like, <laughs> like in, th it's like, <laughs> like in, th it's like, <laughs> like in. Th I'm thinking to myself, this person, if if they were being forthcoming about their location, would it be Caracas? <laughs> I think it probably. Maybe it's Maduro himself. Maduro himself. You gotta understand. Some people think that this doesn't happen. That there's no such thing as a paid poster. They're like, oh well, you're just butt hurt that someone disagrees with you. You're just butt hurt that someone disagrees with you. We already know that political parties here and abroad pay people to do various things. You talk about a sense of, of, uh, sense of false importance. So who, who the hell is this guy? Who the hell is this guy, right? So he's a you know, look, dumpster American views, right? It's simple. He lives up in Vermont. It appears when you watch his videos, it's becoming dangerous now. That's why I'm talking about it. He appears to be a guy like he's up there in, in Vermont. He lives in this spare room probably with his parents in the other room or something he's he's been making videos for 10 years right? and and um this claims he's, he's homosexual satanist uh what else he's he, i I, could, I bet i bet a hundred dollars right now that he doesn't have a passport i bet that he's never been out of the country maybe never been out of vermont and what what comes through in his his commentary is that it's a person that um, has no no real life experience. For for example, most of what he's talking about a lot of times is economics. He's talking about the stock market. He's talking about investments. The guy has absolutely no ex no sales experience. No human nature. The, the the essence of human nature experience outside of a textbook that he read, right? Which is he seems to be pretty good at at reading so let's look at some of his claim to fame but again because he's he's out there talking he's out there justifying american tyranny in venezuela so let, let's just look at the guy goddamn guy gotta go do this again man right fucking guy fucking satan fucking satan i bet he runs around man but he's one of these guys like he's fucking homo guy man he fucking got like this guy, he guys goes to parties like a fucking, they stick like a candle up his ass, you know, fucking walk around the room with a fucking, oh, la, 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 fucking Satan shit, man. He's pulling fucking Satan shit, like fucking with a, he's got a fucking, fucking voodoo doll with like fucking shit up his ass and shit. The fucking guy's crazy. I, I bet that's what's going on, man. I gotta ask him one day, right? Tarl Warwick, born January 20th, 1988, known on YouTube as Sticks Hex and Hammer 666. Hey Google, what does 666 mean? On the website sciencealert.com, they say, So back to the Bible, where in chapter 13 of the book of Revelation, it reads, Let the one with understanding reckon the meaning of the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His oh. number is 666. Wow. Me oh, the number of the beast. 
guy's a beast. <clears throat> so let's look at some of his claim to fames, and then we'll talk about uh, his his distorted world view of Maduro and the rest of the world. So, so he's a, apparently a musician, radio werewolf. In 2011, Warwick uploaded his first political video. Sarah Palin is responsible for the shooting of Gabriel Giffords. Hey, Google, who is Gabriel Giffords? According to Wikipedia, Gabrielle D. Giffords is an American politician from Arizona and a gun control advocate. Ah, so he's so he discusses that nonsense, right? So it's, that's his top video. And uh, it's another one, 2011, top 10 lies about Christianity. Google, what's Christianity? Hey, Google, what's Christianity? According to Wikipedia, Christianity is a monotheistic Abrahamic religion based on the life and teachings of Jesus of Nazareth. Wow. So he's calling Jesus a liar. Satan! Satan, how dare you call Jesus a liar? Jesus. Jesus Christ! You called him a liar. Damn. On March 2nd, 2011, Warwick uploaded a video titled... Why I left Christianity and became a Satanist. <laughs> you can't make this shit up, man. It's fucking crazy shit, man. Meanwhile, these people say, like, the U.S. is so tyrannical. That's funny. I had enough to eat last night. Um, I can defend myself. I can say pretty much whatever the fucking goddamn hell I want. Oh, wait, Maduro just made sure that the one non-state-run newspaper in the country just shut down. Yeah, that's, that's not a sign of tyranny at all. The illiterate bus driver who can't manage the economy of a country has more fucking oil than any other country in the world and it's still totally destitute. It's really funny when they use the fact that there's no longer any uh, any independent media in the country to claim that the uh, every story about uh, Venezuela is false. talking points are, uh, I've watched it I, the few times that I've seen the show, is that he, he talks about... Uh, all of the Fox News talking points on economics. He talks about the fact that the economy has never been so good. He repeats that one all the time. That uh, unemployment is is uh, at record lows. He he recites the I think the three point seven percent number in America. Three point seven percent unemployment, which that's that's statistically wrong. If you know anything about economics if you know anything about wall street is that it, that's a that's a fictitious number real unemployment in america is probably around 17 percent to 20 percent he's also a uh, an election fraud election fraud denier he doesn't i mean i've heard him say i think i heard him say once that there is election fraud in this country and then he promotes elections he promotes the 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 trump winning uh, he's he's an election forecast expert claims to have predicted trump winning yeah, millions of people predicted that trump would win and beat hillary clinton that's not a that's not a revelation that's not a prediction that's a that was obvious anybody who def defected from the sanders campaign knew that trump would win that hillary clinton couldn't cheat her way into the to, through the finish line that just wasn't going to happen so that's not really a prediction that's more of a that's more of a like an echoing of what everybody else was talking about he makes no reference whatsoever about venezuela that that uh, the united states has extreme sanctions on a country on their country and that's important to understand that if 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 a tyrannic a very strong powerful bully neighbor forces you to not be able to trade with your partners it's not to say that venezuela isn't economically incompetent there was there is ways around that but once that's like once you lean on them with sanctions and prevent them to trade with other people because you say that their their elections are fake or some other bullshit oh socialism it's communism it's capitalism right you make up some ideological tag and stick it on them right because they don't want to deal with they're not interested simply they're not interested in dealing with your nonsense they're not interested in your multinational corporations they're not interested in globalism they want a they want a, a simple life and they're entitled to do that so whether the guy's a bus driver the you know the creator of <laughs> the creator the president of venezuela maduro just because he's a bus driver it doesn't mean he he speaks to the to the regular people 
And to say that millions of people in Venezuela protesting is simply not true. Millions of people protesting and picketing. Millions of people protesting and picketing. Millions of people protesting and picketing. There's 32 million people in the country and maybe maybe 100,000 are protesting and half are on one side and half are paid on the other side. But Juan Guardo, the op op opposition leader, is, you know, educated in the United States. He went to Washington, Washington University in Washington, D.C. He probably speaks perfect English. He's a, he's a CIA plant. Who cares if the CIA supposedly is involved? Who cares if the CIA supposedly is involved? What, they're capable of doing a good thing once in a while other than snort cocaine. And that's okay with you. I mean, I, I guess if that's okay with you, if that's the kind of country... If that's the kind of country you want to live in, if that's the kind of country, you know, that might is right, if that's the kind of country you want to believe, believe in, if that's what your satanic religion has led you to believe is right, then so be it. But it doesn't, it doesn't exempt yourself from criticism, critical, you know, analysis of your nonsense. Marcus Conti reporting. I happen to believe in an American hemisphere of peace and cooperation and togetherness, not one in which there are these regimes that are fucking around their people. That being said, though, if Maduro suddenly gets hanged by his own people, oh my god, the great Satan's here. No, I oppose that completely. Seeing the Maduro shills try to jump down my throat, it's like, uh, you're out of your league, dude. Shantan. You're out of your league, dude.